What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Obi Roby Kenobi, with the robe on and the bonnet. You already know that I'm on it. In you win, win. If you don't get, you don't it, get it, we. you win, though, but if you win it, when it's finished, in the end, you win, though, man. Let's go. go. I get it like a bad <laughs> habit. You guys, Spooky Scary Sunday. Usually, most Sundays, we watch Spooky Scary videos on Spooky Scary Sunday. These videos pretty much inspired by Corey Kenshin. I was watching a couple of Spooky Scary Sunday videos on Sunday on my own, and then I came across looking at his stuff, and I was like, I'm going to pretty much just be reacting to like a lot of his stuff in order. And in some occasions where I'll be checking out videos on my own. But he has a lot of stuff in his catalog. And I don't want to mix up the two. But I just react and watch the stuff that I haven't already um, reacted to on the channel. And then we go from there. We have Corey Kenshin videos. Just do not click on this video. This is number three. Let's just get it moving, man. I'm <laughs> Do it. Hulu presents Huluween Film Fest. The Which is perfect because it's October and I definitely would be want to watch and doing some more scary kind of videos and stuff. So a lot of my stuff on the channel is going to start to be like spooky theme and stuff like that. I'm going to be watching more like spooky videos and stuff and playing some scary games and going from there we're going we're going to embrace this especially for when october 31st comes in i want to really get into that hug yo yo why did that just scream came out of nowhere and hold on hold on hold on like first of all just rip off of chucky cheese thing but does this look like something you guys are like i know chucky or whatever like i knew he was kind of like People was kind of unsure about stuff like that. But this looks kind of creepy. Like, I don't know if I would actually go to this person as a kid. Story, hey! Yo! Theme song banging, though. Yo, this is like Chuck E. Cheese Five Nights at Freddy's. Yo! Yo, he banging with it, too. Pandoris? Pan Pizza Palace? Yo, this how the FNAF movie. Like the panda put on a show for us. What? I didn't hear what he said. Oh, make the panda put on a show for us. Okay. Up, 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 oh, hold on, guys. Pandora's on his dinner break. He'll be back in an hour. Oh, come on. Really, dude? Yeah, really. What do you think Yo, this is? Yo, he off. The freaking. Sorry, kid. It's dinner time. Even pandas got to eat. It's a freaking robot. <laughs> birthday and i want a panda show now i am surprised he didn't curse he said freaking so hard that i sound like he was gonna say a curse word like it really came off that way oh really what do you Yo, think this is he off <clears throat> freaking sorry kid it's dinner time even pandas gotta eat it's a freaking robot <laughs> it's my birthday and i want a panda show now yeah Hold up. Oh! Whose man's is this? You got your little gang back there. We got hair slick to the side emo boy. And then she just back there looking like she can hack your whole IP address. <laughs> yeah. Listen, little kid. Pizza's here. Yay! Ugh. Okay, no, farm line. Oh. What the? All right. Okay, that was. Why he push him like that? I was called for. Kid. How did he clip his key? Yo, this dude is a whole pocket thief, bro. Like, how did what? Yo, he all wow for that. He's all wow for that. Also, I'm gonna be rating these videos. Um, like I, I started doing, I'm gonna be rate, rating the videos of what Corey Kenshin posts up and the videos that I watch separately. On like, if I think it's a ten out of ten or whatever the case, how like just at the end. What? This dude got slayed a hand! Pickpocket level 100! <laughs> Alright, first of all, play two away from the <clears throat> Yo, don't do it. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Pandori the Pan. Th this, I don't know if, okay, I, I have a gripe about this right now, but I'm gonna see. 
Luna. Why did he do that? Ew, 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 ew. Uh, this is security guard. Nice. Hi, I'm Pandori the Panda. What's your name? So, okay, and even Corey mentions it. Like, the thing is so loud. The bright lights and everything like that. The security guard, maybe it's just louder where he's at so he didn't notice. But that just, to me, it just sounded like it was just, it's like extremely loud where I, I felt like somebody would have looked over like, hey, what are you doing there? And would have grabbed him. I don't know. I know it's supposed to be, I know scary movies aren't the smartest, but I don't know. Maybe it's louder where he, at the table where he's at. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Aiden. Oh, that's a pretty name. Do you want me to put on a show for you? No one sees this? Uh... Uh, what? Sure. Great! But first, you gotta come give me a big fat hug. No! No, kid, please! Aiden, I don't like you. You got that dumb look on your face like you're about to do something dumb. But Aiden, if you go to hug that robot, it's the last thing you ever... Is that even a robot, though? Is that even an anim animatronic, though? Y'all saw how his eyes darted like that. Everybody spamming the comments, Aiden, don't do it! <laughs> oh, come on! Don't be shy! No, please. No. No, Aiden! Aiden Pierce, you're dead. You're done. Hey, oh, yo. I'm getting excited. Oh. Hey, yo. Oh. Oh, no. You're gone. Scream. Scream. He about to back up. All right. Now give me a. Oh. Hey. Hey. You're hurting me. I can't breathe! Help! Somebody! Help! We told you, Aiden! Yo, his eyes hit. Yeah. We Help. told you! Oh! Help! Somebody! Help! Nobody saw this? Help! Somebody! Help! Yo! He done, coach! Yo! He done! Got it. There's one for you. Don't drop that. Theme song. Yeah, there you go. Ah, right, look what you did. Oh! Yeah, I was not ready for that. Say something. There you go. There. Say something. Oh I'm giving it up. Where's Aiden? Aiden, come over here right now. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. 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 <laughs> you see how he stiff on my man pizza though? My dude just eating eating his little slice. Yo, move kid. That little stiff arm. Well, and I, which I can kind of, like, the dude's a little big, so he had to maneuver as, as quickly as he could, but he can't really, like, run over there. Get out the freaking way. Bro, look how you hold a pizza. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. What you about to do with that? <laughs> no. Oh. That was fast as heck. In the suit? Oh! Oh my gosh! All right, before we get to our good pal uh, Llama Arts, there's another Huluween little mini sode called Carved. What is this guy doing? Oh, hey, you gotta stop. That song is so catchy. Let's do this. Carved. Yo, this is nice. This is Halloween. It's scary. Your lights off? Slice that like button. This is cool. That's a cool. I can't cut my light off, because if I cut my light off, you won't be able to see me. We good on those teeth. Why is it so extreme? What is happening? Okay. Got Earl here. <laughs> Bro, why is this so like dramatic? He's just getting a pumpkin. Okay. All right. Hey. Uh... 
Yo, would you grab a pumpkin that looks like this? This joint looks like a fucking demon, bro. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, we don't. Nah, I don't. I don't think that's a good pumpkin to get. Even if you couldn't see the face, it just looks like a bad pumpkin. I wouldn't even get it. Even the crow is like, bro, stop. Ugh. Earl, no. No, Earl. <laughs> no, the crow is down to tell him. All right, he just killed himself. The crow is like, what have you done? Yeah, like, I'm like, I'm pretty sure the signs, man. I don't know if people like, that crow is just tripping. I'd be like, bro, that crow is really out here bugging off of this one pumpkin. Like, it, it did a couple, but this one, yeah, now nah, I would have, I peeped the signs, man. <clears throat> All right. What do you think, buddy? Got a little pumpkin patch. Winners? Picking out your little pumpkins. And he sees the pumpkin. <coughs> or the crow. Oh, nope. Dude, out of all the pumpkins, you gotta go for that one. Okay, so he just he just did it just to take it off, but he moved it to the side because he was like, I, this probably doesn't fit with the rest of the good ones, so it might not sell. Okay, okay, okay. As I understand now, he just had to gather all the pumpkins. I was about to say, but why did he left it open for someone to get? Son, if you don't get that one. Oh. That's disgusting. <laughs> Come on, let's no, go No, I back. want that one. Buddy, seriously, we can do way better. That one. Hey, yeah. Uh, Hold up a second. Let me demonstrate how that should have gone down. That one. <laughs> Son, that that's disgusting. Let's go on back. That one! <laughs> I said no. That one! That one, huh? <laughs> ah, my <mouth! laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> Ew! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! That one, son. That that's disgusting. Let's go on back. That one, son. I said no. That one. That one, huh? Ah, my that's. <laughs> hey yo, kill, bro, kill. <laughs> Hey, yo, he, wow, he all, okay, okay. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Come on, let's no, go back. I want that. that one. That one. Buddy, seriously, we can do way better. That one. 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 Look at her face. He's like. And this is why. When you don't discipline your kids, and they turn out being spoiled brats, and they just think they can have whatever they want, and the parent doesn't care, they're like, you know what, I fold. You can have whatever you want. Since you're throwing a temper tantrum, you can have it. It's like, no, I said no. Like, you're not supposed to, but no, the parent just wants to be like, okay, fine. We'll get what you asked for. I don't want any problems. Letting the kid boss you around. Yeah, we're going to take that one. <clears throat> Freaking yo, as soon as he got the he said the second one, oh, he just took his whole dome. What? Why do you got be so over dramatic though? Yo, this is weird. They never should have brought down. Uh, bro, come on, let's watch right 
disturbing. And then we can get candles. It's the music just. <laughs> oh boy. And here we go. Oh! Yo. Oh! Oh, you <laughs> oh! Yo! What? He was like, you thought you was spin a car for me, young boy. And he grabbed the knife, bro. It's over. It's donezo. <clears throat> That's disgusting. Damn! And I was a pumpkin on the loose. For the weekend, about 15 co-workers and myself had our company. Is this the same guy? His voice didn't drop eight octaves. But y'all know I can also make my voice. Uh. Known for being Stephen King's inspiration for oh. The Shining. No. We took an 8 p.m. ghost tour where we joined about 15 other people to get guided around the property and told stories about its history and creepy things that are said to have happened. <clears throat> we okay. were told to take a lot of pictures. I'm sure to try and capture orbs or ghosts. Many green orbs were caught in pictures, but I don't think anything is as creepy as this photo taken by my coworker. A little what? girl in a hot pink dress who was definitely not on our tour. Who and is apparently, that? apparently, years ago, a young girl who was 12 to 13 by the name of Lucy was squatting in the basement of the concert hall, which is where this photo was taken. And she was discovered upon plans to begin some construction. She was forced to leave, and the night got below freezing, Dang. so she froze to death. Everyone on my tour has vouched that this girl was not on our tour. I mean, who wouldn't remember someone wearing hot pink? The man pictured is our tour guide. No one would have been in front of him. I am convinced that this is the ghost of Lucy. Just Dang. one more added note, though I doubt anyone would believe me. But there was what? only one time throughout the tour where I felt any strange energy or feeling. And it was right there, headed down to the basement of the concert hall. Oh. Oh, that's it. Oh, narrated by Corpse Husband. Oh, I know who Corpse Husband is. He does a, like, his voice is insanely deep. God damn. You got a nice voice, brother. This happened a few weeks ago when I was walking home from school, excited that my freshman year was coming to an end. It was a Tuesday night when I was turning in my last essay for history. I left it to the last minute and the teacher actually made me complete it before I could go home. I hated hey. my teacher for that. <laughs> Around 8 p.m. I had finished that <laughs> essay and was walking home. The rain <laughs> He did that to block the cursor, which I might start doing in my editing. He's wearing a Quartz Husband sh shirt. Let's go. Shout out Quartz Husband. I haven't had full direct contact with him, but I've... I, I know of him. I know of him. Let's just say that. Rain had stopped, and there was a beautiful sunset. Suddenly, I noticed something. <clears throat> there was a red 2016 Toyota Camry right behind me. Uh... I got goosebumps thinking it was following me. I didn't look back and started walking in my apartment's direction. No, no. Whenever you think somebody's following you, you go somewhere else. I had somebody, it was on Halloween, bro. It was on Halloween a few years ago. It was a while back, man. And I had this custom Batman costume on. And I was um, celebrating because my little brother, like, he was real young. So he had this like Halloween parade or whatever. So I was coming back. It was it was in the morning time or whatever. It was, it was in the morning at a.m. So I was coming back and this guy... Um, probably about my age or whatever. He 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 sees me. I'm on one side. He's on the other side. We walk out. I live in these apartment complexes, and he comes over. <clears throat> this dude is just weird, bro. I didn't even know nobody else knew him, and uh, my other friends knew him. So he just was a weirdo to other people. I was like, bro, kill. But I to, that he found out my place. Like, yo, that was weird, bro. That was super weird.
Yeah, I wanted to go to a run. busy road to feel safer. Just then, the car sped up, stopping right next to me. Oh, the hey, middle-aged no. man asked me where I was headed and suggested to drop me off. I said no thanks, but the man wouldn't leave and insisted. I wanted to tell the man to just fuck off, but I took off running instead. There you go. I heard a loud noise and at the same time felt something I can- How long have I been recording? That story went for a while. Okay. Only describe as a sharp vibration hitting my flesh. Got teased! <coughs> oh my god. I fell to the ground not knowing what happened. Out of adrenaline, I was about to get up and run again as I felt a heavy arm grab me by the mouth. No. Then the pain set in. I realized that I was shot. Dang! There was another man next to him that searched my pockets. Oh, this he guy's grabbed my phone creep. and threw it on the ground <clears throat> as he Jesus tied my Snapchat. legs and taped my mouth. They quickly put me into the trunk of their car and then started driving. Listen, I don't do like some situations you got to be worried about and stuff, but being kidnapped, bro. No, don't don't, and I don't have no money, people. So don't kidnap me. Please don't get at me, but nah, I, this, that's, no, that's, that's, that's on that level, I'm not, I'm not ready for it. Oh my god. I could feel that we were going very fast, and I'm sure that we hadn't stopped at all for a good 30 minutes. I was feeling my blood soaking into my shirt, which scared me the most. I was certain that I was gonna die. I was thinking about my parents and what they would feel when they heard that I was missing. Then the car came to a stop. By some miracle, I heard a police officer asking for IDs. That's why I don't walk just anywhere. I've had a scooter, but that's why I don't just be walking out in the middle of nowhere and stuff like that. You gotta be in areas where it's gonna be public, and even like in the middle of the night or whatever the case, you gotta really be careful out here, man. Cause you never know. People be doing crazy stuff, child abductions and kidnappings and stuff happens a lot. And driver's licenses. Let's go! I wanted to yell for help, but nothing came out. Just then, Bro, I that... heard three to four gunshots. I heard an- Oh my god! Stay out there busting! Yo, first of all, if your tape is- Calm down. If your mouth is- I'm just get- I'm just- Yeah, find a way to get the tape off. Make noise or kick or something. Help! Yo, hold up. But nothing came out. Just then, I heard three to four gunshots. I heard another cop yelling. Man down! Man down! Fired. I was begging the cop to find me. Then I heard the cop searching the car. I was feeling joy as my pain Bangles was growing up. worse. Seconds felt like hours. The officer then opened the car's trunk and suddenly started firing at me out of a fight or flight response. Thankfully, the bullets missed. The officer quickly caught up to the fact that I was kidnapped and injured. In the end. And he looked like the type of cop that I do that. Y'all know what type of cop I'm talking about, right? The one with the big... He got big teeth. Can't even close his mouth. What's going on over here? Is everything alright? <laughs> let's, let's leave it at that. They placed the injured officer onto a gurney and drove off in an ambulance. Finally, when the scene was safe, they called another ambulance for me. I woke up in the hospital. The news media was everywhere. I was fine after a few days, but later learned that the officer that was shot didn't make it. Dang. I don't know if those men are still alive or rotting away in a prison for killing an officer. How I don't want to know, know what would have happened if those officers hadn't stopped the car. Oh my gosh. I don't know what kept happening. The audio kept cutting in and out for some reason as I'm looking at the... Uh recording editing and stuff so i apologize if you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe baby share with your friends and putting videos out every single week pretty much every single day we're on the road to 500 with 428 subs bro let's get it in streaks we're on day 96 man let's get it in we're almost we're like four days away from that 100 day streak bro let's go let's keep it in let's keep moving let's keep grinding Appreciate you guys. I'm going to have more Tom McDonald videos of this stuff going on. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys want to see next on the next spooky, scary Sunday where we're messing up and all that stuff. But yeah, um, I got different stuff planned. Once I get my stuff situated, I'm going to get this room together. More video games and other stuff happening this week. A lot of, a lot of cool stuff that I plan on doing. 
Um, and if you want to hear more on that Halloween story of that guy who pretty much followed me, man, I'm, I'm going to have a separate video for that. But other than that, I appreciate you guys. I love you. Stay blessed. No stress. Let God take care of the rest. And I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace out. Love you. Bye.